Hello everyone, this is VJOZ32 in the house and it's unboxing time. Uh, let's get right on into it. This first one here is from Jason, uh, aka Bicycle Cards on Facebook, the unofficial bicycle guy, and CBJ on the forums. Uh, sent me this. Oh, oh crap. <laughs> Sorry. I'm hurting myself. Okay, here it is. It is something you probably haven't seen before. The bicycle green label. Hmm. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. It's from um, somewhere in these areas. It's very hard for him to find. Especially with the language barrier, but you, you don't see these online anywhere. I haven't seen them on eBay. And so it's pretty cool. It's kind of a rare deck. Okay, let's get on to the next one. I got this one. It's stuck back together from Asia somewhere. It's playing card, that's for sure. There you got. And bear with me. And this is from an eBay. I was fortunate enough to actually check out. And I wanna, uh, this is, uh, I don't know his username. It's C something is well known in, on eBay from Taiwan. He sells a whole bunch of decks that you sometimes can't find anywhere else. And I wanna apologize to him because I, Placed multiple orders, was not able to check out because PayPal is generally a pain in the ass. And I finally was able to check out, I only got for a couple of items though. And they are another one of these Ritual Premiere decks. I had one that I got thanks to I Lucy on Magic. It came a little bit dinged up though, apparently. Uh, Customs opened it up, they probably found it was drugs or something. So I decided I wanted another one, so I got one. And two of the Bicycle Core. These are from Kickstarter. I had pledged for them. Never got them. As far as I'm concerned, he can kiss my ass. <laughs> so I got that. Next up is... I believe this is from magicnevin.com. So it is. But inside we got something you've all been wondering about and asking me to review. 52 Shades of Red, which is from Sin Lim. We did the raft deck and is a gap deck. Apparently there's a gimmick as well. So we'll see about that. And on top of that, there's also a bicycle bros mine. Another weird one made for I believe somebody in Asia. Say yeah. Say yeah. Say yeah. <laughs> okay, that's just kind of weird. And Brosmine.com, licensed by Monday to Friday. Alejandro and Juan Mingaro. I mean, it's not crazy. Maybe it's for Italy. It's just bizarre. <laughs> and one more. The I Love New York deck. Uh, it's a new deck from the USBC that I've been noticing here and there. Fire might be kind of neat. Check it out. And I got one more. A big box. I'm not sure what this is. Exactly. It's a bunch of stuff in. It says from Alex Magic World. AlexMagicWorld.com. The one I'm ordering there, Alex Pua. And aha, this is another eBay one, is what it was. You have to bear with Alright, so let's see what we got here. We got uh, a black tally hole circle back. The only reason why I got all these tally holes is because I wanted another orange one. 
and they only sold in four packs so I got all of them so if any, I'll, I'll put these on my website probably because I already got enough <laughs> a black one there's a pink one a silver one and the orange one that I so desperately wanted a second one of <laughs> I've also got this a bicycle warrior horse horse I should say which again is made for somebody in Asia let me get the lights maybe that's a little bit better made for somebody in Asia again or USB-C in Asia I'm not really sure it's made because it's the year of the horse it happens to be my year I was born in the year of the horse so it's got a one-way back design with a horse on it bizarre and one more bizarre one the bicycle Chinese opera which I discovered myself accidentally while searching and now I found it I was the one who posted about it on on the forums and on my group that's the back design kind of bizarre neat interesting weird and that's what I got Lots, and I'll see you next time. Anyone want some stuff in? I got tons of it. <laughs> Alright, see you next time. Hey yo, I did one VJ in the house. I did get some mail. This is from Illusionist. I hope everyone is enjoying this nice, cool weather we're having. <laughs> Let's have a look. I've already gone in and started opening it. Oh. I got some cardboard. And apparently I missed some tape. <laughs> we got some advertisements and we got two of the brand new presser decks, which I've been waiting for patiently for a little while. And that is what I got. See you next time. Hello everyone, this is me Jose Fergie back again. As you can see, I did get some mail. Boy did I ever. <laughs> the first one is from Kickstarter. And there is actually a receipt. And just thank you. Blah blah. This is actually one of the campaigns that people were throwing red flags up on at first because he's claiming original artwork and it was all copy and pasted and everyone was up in arms about it and getting pissed off on the forums and uh, Mike at being Poker World was lashing out at him in the comment section of his page and eventually it, it wasn't doing that good and then it came cancelled. Then he relaunched it, it was successful. Then he tried a second deck that they failed to get made during that second campaign. That one wasn't successful. But we got this. It is the Persian Empire, so it's great to see that he actually delivered. Looks pretty cool. And I got this one. This one is from Magical Zach. A big, big present. Only it's not right full up to the top, as you can see. Uh, what happened was, just before the holidays, he got about half a dozen different packages from Kickstarter projects that I sent his way. And he tried sending a couple out, but then they got sent back, didn't have enough postage. So he threw everything in the box and sent it out my way and you know it cost more money that way but um, I just want to say thanks Zach I appreciate it and you shouldn't have too many more coming your way right uh, now I think there might have been a couple more that came I'm not sure let's find out what we got in there holy crap it's all over the place <laughs> we got yay wrapping paper there is this from Kings Wild and it's got some sticky stuff on it for some reason but it's a cool little card from King's Wild. We got $25 gift card because I helped him buy something on a loosenest. I think it was an uncut seat, a red artifice, and he sent me some money for that. We got two of these Federal 52 decks. One is obviously a branded deck and one is not branded a black reserve notes awesome I got stuff is all over the place <laughs> holy crap 
there is more Federal 52s, silver certificate and a branded white reserve note. And then I'm just trying to find all of these. Oh wow. of the blue blood redux we got the next sienna's two of those we got ah another one of the silver certificates this one is branded i think the other one was unbranded and then there's another one unbranded of the white reserve notes we got Calaveras, and there should be one more in there. Well, hang on. There's actually two more Calaveras. Pretty awesome. We got more of an Axianas. These are Black limited edition, I believe they're limited edition. The black ones, or is it the white ones? One of them is limited edition. It's the same thing, just a different colored box. And then, we got a couple of Bicycle Evolution from Elite Playing Cards. These are all Kickstarter decks, by the way. <laughs> there is a book on the Venexiano. Or a pamphlet, whatever. There is. I'm supposed to stop. And a couple of dice from the Evolution. That's pretty awesome, clear dice. I didn't have any of those, so probably pretty cool. There it is. Some King's Wild poker chips. I think the King's Wild, yes, King's Wild poker chips from the Federal 52. There is this, which is a pretty interesting silver rider back with gilded edges. Grid size, no box. Obviously, came in a kind of a set. And he offered it to me for helping him get the. I don't cut seats, so fire would be pretty cool because I haven't seen it before. It is. And then, I'm going to pause. And we're not done yet. We also got a coin from Half Moon Playing Cards, the Venexiano. It's awesome. I got three of the Empire decks, also from Kickstarter. I'm starting to wonder if we kept any of these decks because they're supposed to keep one each. Whatever, and then there's one more thing. It is a signed card. It says enjoy Magical Zach. Thank you, Magical Zach, and I appreciate it. And wow, that's a lot. So, biggest unboxing ever. Coolest unboxing ever. Look at these awesome decks. All right, <laughs> that's what I got. I was kind of happy about the Persian Empire, but now I don't even care anymore. I'm more happy about all of this. <laughs> See you next time. Hello, right, everyone. This is. These are the plates in the house. I did get a package in the mail today. This is from MJM Magic. It can only be one thing. Playing cards. <laughs> and it's an envelope. And the receipt. Wow. Brand new reusable envelope. And inside we got two. Of the Phantom. These are the latest from Eric Dwan and Dancer.com. Pretty interesting. I also got this. I gotta go pick up a package at the post office. I'll probably do that later. I'm guessing it is Conjuring Arts because they're the only ones that forced me to go pay customs. <laughs> but, anyways, that's what I got. I'll see you next time. Hello, everyone. This is 
these are the zip foods he back again and I just got that from the post office where I had to go to pick this up because I had to pick customs. And I hate to say I told you so, but I told you so. This is from Concert Arts. Let's have a look. Some other papers. There is. That's pretty cool. Expert at the card table pack jacket. This is a expert at the card table collector set. There's only 52 available. So there's that. There is a second one. Pretty cool. There is the expert at the card table Bible edition. That's pretty awesome. Another urna is at the expert table, the actual one, I guess. There is every card ever released in the urna series. And they're all aces of diamonds. It's <laughs> kind of cool. There is one of these uh, squeezers, the 216s, I believe. And there is first edition and second edition Aquan backs. And a ribbon with expert at the card table stuff written all over it. It's pretty interesting. And that's it, a receipt, and that's it. Uh, I was expecting this to be. A heck of a lot bigger. This is, I mean, you tell me, is this not the Bible edition? That's what I thought, and what's this? I'm confused. <laughs> I was expecting a, a different book. And as far as I'm concerned, they were advertising Erdnay's decks, not expert backs. I mean, that's what they had images of, but as far as I'm concerned, I would have preferred to see the deck that looks like this. In first edition and second edition, as opposed to Acorn Rex, because that's what I think of when they say Erdnay's deck. But whatever. Hmm. They, they pretty much got two of everything in here. I don't see any of the, uh, of this style of deck in there. It's kind of weird. But anyways, that's what I've got. I'm uh, feeling a little bit disappointed, but whatever. See you next time. <laughs>